hello friends so once again welcome to my channel and in today's video we will continue with our boots algorithm that is the method to using that flowchart two two steps we are means two two bits we are considering together and then we are deciding whether to add or subtract or to do nothing and then perform the arithmetic shift right so that we are going to see with examples last video we have seen the algo and we have seen one example next we'll continue with two more two more examples in this video so let's start suppose uh, we need to do 14 into minus 7 this we need to do so see our multiplier is minus 7 and multiplicand is 14 what we have seen when we have applied both algo sometimes we need to subtract the multiplicand and sometimes we need to add the multiplicand so because of that and and subtracting the multiplicand is equivalent to adding the two's complement of the multiplicand due to that we will keep both ready with us right so 14 first my 14 14 is what your this one 111 one, one, that is 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14 this binary of 14 and sine bit is 0 this is 4 plus 14 this is my multiplicand and what is negative 14 that is the two's complement of 14 will start reading from the left so 0 1 this will be copied as it is here and then what we will do we will flip the remaining bits so 1 0 is directly copied in the resultant and after that all other bits are changed so 0 0 1 is complete minus 14 so we have got it my very first step is to represent the numbers in two's complement form so 14 is 0 1 1 1 0 that we have done and for uh, our working we have kept what is the binary of minus 14 that is also ready and the next is 7 so see uh, this is minus 7 in fact so see what is plus 7 plus 7 is 0 triple 1 is plus 7 but we need to represent it using 5 number of bits in the beginning only I said that both the numbers should be of equal length so here also I require 5 bits so I'll extend the sign bit this is my plus 7 right then what is minus 7 2's complement of this whole thing what is 2's complement of this this will be 1 as it is it will come then 0 0 1 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 is nothing but my minus 7 so it is in the Q register A register will hold 5 number of zeros according to our algo Q minus 1 that is to the right of my LSB 1 0 is there and what is M my multiplicand so multiplicand is plus 14 so plus 14 is here and what is the value of count the number of bits that I have used so it is 5 here got it now we we'll start the algo so the algo says we need to see Q minus 1 and Q0 the way we see this is from Q minus 1 to Q0 side right so 0 to 1 that means 0 to 1 we are looking at then we are moving towards what negative this is 1 so we are going to perform a subtraction operation so what we are going to do subtraction operation and this subtraction is equivalent to adding the two's complement of the multiplicand what is the two's complement of my multiplicand minus 14 it is here with whom I will add with a so a is all 0 0 with that if I'll add this it will become what 1 double 0 1 0 only so 1 double 0 1 0 only done then q is copied see here and q minus 1 is also i am writing once again one part is done after that what we need to do arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right on what a q and q minus 1 to the right right all these together as a taken as a single unit so we'll do that hope you remember how to perform arithmetic shift right 1 0 0 1 1 if i perform right shift then it is arithmetic right shift it is 1 1 0 1 and this bit will go out this sign bit is again preserved that only we need to remember so here if i'll do what it will become 1 1 0 0 1 this 0 will come here then 1 1 0 0 and this one will come at this so, so see here that only i am getting this one is i am getting see then this 0 is coming here then these are there then this one will come here see here done so one particular cycle is over so i will decrement the count so now my decrement decrementing the count the count value will become 4 
but it is still not zero so i need to continue what i will continue again i will see this one to zero now i am moving from one to zero i used to see like this so one to zero means what plus side this is zero means plus side you need to remember so one to zero i'll perform plus so what i'll put plus a equal to a plus m this is my next step so what is right now my a see here uh, double one double zero one what is m m is zero triple one zero if i'll add it will become what one 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 this will become zero this is also become zero and this carry you will be discarded hope you know one and one is what two two means one zero so zero i will write here one will be carry so this carry will come here here also two ones so it is also zero one but the last carry out of msb addition will be discarded in two complement arithmetic that also we know from our beginning videos so after doing the operation see i'll get this double zero triple one and this red color one is discarded so that i have shown then uh, this i'll directly write whatever is there in q and this is also one a plus m is done next what we'll do we'll perform arithmetic shift right so what it will become triple zero double one then this one will come here so see triple zero double one then this one will come here so it will become one zero double one zero see one zero double one zero and this zero will come here right done one step is over then next is will decrement the count so now my count will become what three still it is not zero so let's continue so see now see this is zero and zero so do i need to perform any addition subtraction no consecutive bits are same so no addition subtraction in the next cycle so simply i have copied whatever is there whatever is there simply i copied here done the next is arithmetic shift right i will do that what it will become it will become triple zero triple zero is already there so 401 it will become this one will come here so double one zero double one it will be and the zero is going out bit will be here so this is zero and this will be discarded done one step is done so now my count will become what two still it is not zero so let's continue sorry let's continue then see after this you need to see again zero to one zero to one means what subtract so right now see you see right now your this bit is four zeros one with this i need to add m what is my m my m is zero triple one zero if i'll add what it will become one 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 zero right so see this one is what i am performing is this is zero to one okay i'll not perform addition i'll perform subtraction so if i'll perform subtraction that means i'll add the two's complement of it so right now it is uh, four zeros are there four zero one and what is the two's complement of this one double zero one zero right so what it will become one one double zero one one double zero double one this you need to understand then this part i am copying done zero is copied what i have performed a minus m this operation actually i have done why because it is zero to one right then i will do the arithmetic shift right so what it will become double one double zero one see double one double zero one then this one will come the other side here so triple one zero one then this one will come here done and then what i have performed arithmetic shift right count will be decremented it is one still it is not zero i have to continue one more step so right now whatever we have that i have written and due to this this is one and this is one we need not have to perform what addition subtraction then what we will do we will perform arithmetic shift right let's do it so if i'll perform arithmetic shift right it will become what triple one double zero triple one double zero because this is double one triple one double zero and then see it is what see this one is coming here so here four one zero and this one will come here and then what i will do i will decrement the counter right i will decrement the counter so count will become now what zero once count becomes zero we need to stop right when we stop where is my result my result is in a and q register so what is that triple one double zero 
four ones zero this i can see this is my result the result is positive or negative the result is obviously negative because sin bit is one so what is the decimal value of your result what what is your result i need to take two's complement of it and i'll put the minus sign in my decimal value right so see here take the two's complement of it what it will become zero one because i'll start reading from the left till i meet the first one so zero one is directly copied then all the remaining bits will be flipped so it will be zero 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 double one zero 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 right so what it is this is one this is two four eight sixteen thirty two thirty two plus sixty four right thirty two plus sixty four and then plus two what it will be let's see thirty two plus see thirty two plus sixty four and two is what uh, six seven eight and uh, six plus three ninety eight and 14 into 7 is also 98 it is negative minus 98 so your result is ready right so hope this uh, example is clear see only what uh, the point that you need to remember you need to discard the one that is coming from msb addition let's say suppose here we have done some operation here also one one was coming that you need to discard because msb addition carry is not taken in two's complement arithmetic this part is simple only you need to take care that your inputs are represented correctly and using equal number of bits and for my convenience i have taken this part here so that whenever i need to perform subtraction i can directly use it so this much is there in this video hope this example is clear and the next video also i'll do one more example so that we'll be well versed with both algo while performing your multiplication of sign integer numbers till then thank you and if you are getting from my explanations then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you